Well, there is a place in St. Paul that's only open twice a year to the public. It's an old water tower that gives you a great view of Minneapolis and St. Paul. So who just had to go there? Ellery McArdle, of course. Now she's <laughs> live in St. Paul. What did you find up on the top of that tower, Ellery? Well, fantastic views, first of all, Chris and Lauren, but a lot of people with their eyes glued to the windows because it's just a great view up there and a different perspective. So a lot of families and myself, we all climbed the 151 steps to the top. So let's show you what we saw at the top of the Highland Water Tower here in St. Paul. So inside, you can see people standing at the gated windows looking out and there's something great to see out each window. You can see downtown Minneapolis, which is six and a half miles away. On the other side, downtown St. Paul, which is four miles away. Out another window, you'll see Snelling Avenue with the state fairgrounds in the distance. So this tower was built in 1928 and is no longer used, but it's on the National Register of Historic Places. It was built by the first African American American municipal architect in the country, Clarence Wigington. So there's so much more history to this tower and I'm going to post all of that at carolevin.com slash sunrise. So here's the thing though, this place is open twice a year as you mentioned Chris. So if you missed this past weekend, mark your calendars though for October 13th and 14th because that's when you can come back here, climb those 151 steps to the top. All right, as always, I am asking for your suggestions for me to capture those great views in Minnesota and Western Wisconsin. So go to carol11.com to find the many ways that you can contact me. And guys, next week, I'm headed up to the North Shore.